Hello there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to our annual Academy Awards predictions. And this is going to be for the year 2022. Yes, baby. The we're bringing the 22 and 2022. Woo! So, of course, I am not solo on this. I do have very little people you know it's not a very big group you know it's just like maybe one or two people here but you know but of course i'm gonna introduce to all of my guests one by one starting off with mr jackson vulture whoa that's oh, not this stuff, bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh I'm very, I'm very excited i'm very excited for this year uh it's my favorite time of the year doing the prediction stuff let's let's do it let's let's get it let's let's do it let's yeah all right cool awesome. next one up here is mr diego coya what's up guys um this is diego coya and i'm happy to be here um i'm excited for um for this video i'm not too excited for the award show itself but um i i think this will be a fun time and um, i'm pretty confident in my prediction so we'll see how it goes next one up here and the beard squad is jordan farrell his first time doing the predictions with us too by the way awesome i'm glad to be here let's hope i don't fuck up for my first time we'll see Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, glad to be here. Uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall is my biopic. Uh, and uh, on to the next asshole. <laughs> next one up here, not with the beard, uh, but one of the winners of last year is Henry Ewing. We kind of had something. Uh, yeah, a little bit of chisel. <laughs> we back here. Like, we're doing all the predictions at once, not recording some and then doing some later. <laughs> So let's get this shit. Man. And speaking of winner, tied with Henry from last year is the duck himself, Andrew Hayes. Listen. See, I know what the fuck I'm doing this year. Unlike last year, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Which only means I'm probably the exact opposite of what last year was going to happen. You know? Anyway, well, I'm here to present the next award is DJ Cali. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> and last is Film Fan 0599. Hello. Hello. Um, hello. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Buy his Bitcoin. God damn it. I'm not Matt Damon. Anyway, um, <laughs> now, um, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> excellent timing, excellent timing. Good timing. Oh, this is this is what I get for my grand return to the predictions videos, I guess. Anyways, um yeah, I wasn't on last year because I didn't give a shit about the award uh show, but here's the thing. I still don't give a shit about the award show, but I want to have fun with my friends, so what I'm going to be doing is just winging it, and um, I'm probably going to lose because of it, but you know what? Fuck it. Hopefully this does go well for me, and you know, I don't fumble the bag like I did in 2000, uh, t <laughs> like I did in 2019, or was it wasn't <laughs> bag. Welcome to hell. Hell yeah, baby. Oscars. Um, we all have beards for the most part. Um, okay, everyone. Now we're going to go ahead and say hello to our friend, Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> Hi, Photoshop. Hi, Adobe. Adobe Hi, Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop. So now we're here with the first category, which is actor in a leading role. So we have here Javier Bardem for being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch, the power of the dog, Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom, Will Smith for King Richard, and Denzel Washington for The Tragedy of Macbeth. So when it comes to my prediction, um, you know, I thought maybe for a while it was going to possibly be maybe Andrew Garfield's win, maybe even Benedict Cumberbatch to some extent. But seeing how he's been doing with the award season lately, I do think Will Smith is going to take home his Oscar for lead actor. Um yeah, uh, poor one out for uh, Peter Dinklage, Bradley Cooper, and uh, uh, um, 
Simon Rex, um, but I'm going to go with Will Smith for this one. Oh, I think right. He's, he, the Fresh Prince is about to get his Oscar. Finally, his Oscar is about to be fresh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. So my prediction is Will Smith for King Richard. I'm very confident in this um, vote. All right. Well, uh, I'm also going with Will Smith. Okay. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do, just so this isn't confusing. I'm going to do J-O, so I okay. know J-O is Jordan. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know it's kind of weird, but it's better <laughs> it's than... It's fine. But it's better than going, wait, is that Jackson or is that Jordan? Yeah. It's it's Yeah, that's cool. Henry, I think you're next up. It's going to go to the greatest rapper of all time, Will Smith. Hey, 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 Miami's a banger. Yeah, it's classic. Um, I think um, for a while, it, like, there was a possibility that Better the Cumberbatch could steal <laughs> the Oscar, and I still think that is a possibility. Uh -huh. um, that we could see a surprise on Oscar night, <laughs> but I am fairly confident that it will be Will Smith as well. And now, film fan. Now look, motherfuckers. Okay, look. So, now, the Oscars have pulled some shit like this beforehand. Where, like, <laughs> everyone is like, oh, this person is going to win it. But then they go with something completely completely out of left field. So That is very true. So, I'm going to be the only <laughs> motherfucker that goes with Ben the cover back. I, have a feeling. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Oh, boy. Big dick I swinging. Hey, I, got I, a I, 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 I admire that boldness, to be honest. No, I, I got I, a feeling. Too. You better be home like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one up here we got is now actor in a supporting role. And I do want to apologize if I mispronounce some of these names. Uh, Sierran Hines for Belfast. Troy Kotzer, Coda. Jesse Plemons, The Power of the Dog. J.K. Simmons being the Ricardos. And Cody Smith-McPhee for The Power of the Dog. And for my prediction... I think it's going to go to Troy Kotzer. Um, I love Jesse Plemons. I love J.K. Simmons. I don't like that they're nominated for these specifically. They're good. Yeah, there's probably other ones. Um, but uh, I'm, I, I think I'm confident in that Troy Kotzer is going to get this one, and it'll be well-deserved because it was a pretty emotional, good performance. I am also predicting the same thing, um, Troy, from Carter. Like on first name bases with him. That's cool. <coughs> Troy Kotzer. Henry. Yeah, it did look like it was going to be Cody Smith McPhee for a while, but now I think it will be Troy Kotzer. Andrew. All right. So for like the longest time, I uh, had this sinking feeling in my gut that going to be Kieran Hines that one. I know, like, obviously Cody Smith he was going to, like, he he was the front runner for a while, and now it is uh, Troy. Um, but I, I've always had th this sinking feeling in my stomach that, yeah, no, they're going to be like, ah, fuck these two guys. Let's give it to Kieran Hines. Um, and I still think that's also possible. possible. But um, – I don't know. I, I'm not as confident that Karen Hines is going to win it as it, I once was, so I am going to go with uh, uh, Troy. Starring Brad Pitt. Uh, I guess I'm also going to go with uh, Troy as well, um, even though I don't <laughs> don't know a lot of these. Wow, hey, 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 just do a we do. Just read into the Academy's mind. That's what we do yeah. in these predictions. We're all psychic. JD like Joha. Next one up here we got is actress in a leading role. We got Jessica Chastain, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz for Parallel Mothers, Nicole Kidman being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart for Spencer. Now, if you were to ask me last month, I would have told you, oh, yeah, baby, this is Kristen's award and all that. She's going to take home the Oscar. But seeing how award season has kicked in lately with Jessica Chastain, I think she is going to take home the Oscar. Yep, I write my, my J next to your T. That's what I'm going with, too. I think it'll also tie into the makeup category as well. So that's, yeah, yeah 
good reason for that. There's only two categories this season that um, I'm kind of <laughs> conflicted on, and this is one of them because for a long time, I thought it was going to be Nicole Kidman. I was actually very confident it was going to be her. Then I thought the possibility of Kristen Stewart. But um, recently, with all the awards uh, wins and how everything's been, you know, turning, I have to go with Jessica Chastain. I believe she's going to win the Oscar for this one. Jordan. Uh, that's conflicting. Um I'm going to say this might be one of those awards that the Oscars might throw a curveball. So mm -hmm. I'll probably lose. Who knows? I'm going to go with Kristen Stewart. Okay. I like that. I like that boldness. Yeah. I'm going to be like Ryan Johnson and subvert your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Henzo. All right. I, I think I will also jump on the Chastain train. Andrew, um, this is also another one like <clears throat> like Diego said. Uh, also with me, where I was very conflicted. I was like how I was with supporting actor, where it's like, ah, do I go with the, uh, you know, the out of left field pick with Kieran Hines, where I could see him winning because the Oscars have done shit like that before, um, or do I, um. You know, uh, go with the obviously safe pick. And I feel like, again, like for a long time, uh, I thought Nicole Kidman was going to win. And I was like convinced, even like with people saying that Jessica Chastain was going to win. I'm like, no, I have a feeling Nicole Kidman's going to steal this. They're going to be like really stupid about it. Um, but, uh, you know, I feel like the momentum has died down a little bit with Nicole Kidman. So uh, while the momentum of Jessica Chastain has increased, so I'm going to go with uh, Jessica Chastain. And now, film fan, what do you think the Academy will go with this? You know, it's funny. I, I, I said I've had no idea, like, what any of this award, like, kind of, like, what's been going on with the awards season as of late. This is, like, the one fucking category I actually do kind of know, like, it's been, like, a tough, like, horse race with this. Um, Like, I, shit. Like, there's literally, like, three possible winners for this. Um, I mean, I can always predict a tie, but I'm not going to be that stupid. But, um, <laughs> don't um, you dare. Don't but, you um, dare. Um, <laughs> um, but, you, know, you know, I'm going to be like Jordan. But, however, but not with Kristen Stewart. I'm going to say it's going to be Nicole Kidman. I'm going there. I'm going to say I have okay. a feeling. I got a feeling. It's going to be her. I got a feeling, baby. I got Nicole a feeling. Kidman. But not, but not for being for, but not for being for the Ricardo show, but for the AMC theater ad. That's what you go with. Yeah. We come to this place to cry. To John Campion's favorite like commercial. Now, next one up we got here is actress in a supporting role. So we got Jesse Buckley for The Lost Daughter, Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, Judy Dench Belfast, Kirsten Dunst The Power of the Dog, and. Aun Ji Noon Ellis, King Richard. I am so sorry for mispronouncing that. Uh, but for my prediction, um, I feel like this is like one of the more like easy wins. I feel like Ariana for West Side Story is going to get it. And I think it's the only win West Side Story is really going to take home for this award season. Sure. Um, quick shout out to Jesse Buckley because love her, can't wait for men. And I'm glad that she and Jesse Plemons got nominated for I'm Thinking of Ending Things just for different movies. Um, but I'm going with Ariana DeBose for this one. I am also going for Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. I'm going for, I mean, Ariana Jordan? DeBose. <laughs> nice. Nice curveball. Henry. Ariana wasn't nominated, babe. Um you know, this is the one category I didn't like think <laughs> like twice about. This is like the one I'm most confident in. Even though I could be even though like 
I guess if anybody else was going to win it, probably Judy did. But I'm pretty confident in Ariana DeBose. Film fan. <laughs> oh, man. Say Judy Dench, you coward. <laughs> no, no, I'm not good. That's not who I'm going with. I'm not going with the majority vote on this. Put me down for Kirsten Dunst, bitch. Put me down. Put me down, baby. You. I'm just talking to Popular, boy. You Spider Man. Shut the bitch. fuck up. Put me down, I'm motherfucker. For no way home. All right. Next one we got here is animated feature film. So we got Encanto, Flea, Luca, The Mitchells vs. the Machines, and Riot and the Last Dragon. Uh, this one I really had to give a ton of thought to because, like, on the one hand, the Mitchells versus the Machines has been gaining a ton of wins, but then I know how it is with the Academy for really a majority of the time, them giving the Disney win. So, this is one of the ones I really had to think long and hard about. But to be honest, after really thinking about it, I think Encanto is going to take home the win for this category. Yeah, as much as Mitchell's versus the Machines would be my personal pick, you know, similar to like what I've said a couple of years ago, I think they're going to do what they do best and give the award to themselves. So, in Kanto. Yeah, I want the Mitchell versus the Machines um, to win. It is. I haven't seen Flea, but out of, in this category, it's my favorite one. Um, but they usually give the Oscar to Disney movies, and I don't think they're going to give it to Luca, although for a while I thought it was a real possibility. But I am going to say Encanto. I think that's going to win the Oscar for this category. Let's see. For my pick Jordan. for um, my pick for uh, Disney feature film, I mean animated feature film, <clears throat> we'll have to go to Encanto. I want it to be Michelle's first machine because it it's actual art, and I actually like Encanto. But Disney's going to win. Yeah, yeah. Henry, it's going to be Encanto. Andrew. Um, for a long time, um, I thought I was like convinced they were just gonna give it to Luca. Um, but again, uh, as time went on, the momentum with that went down as the momentum with Encanto went up. Um, so I, I, I feel pretty confident that it will be Encanto, even though, like, I th- I do think there's a slight, slight chance that Luca still pulls out the win somehow. Oh, this is tough because, like, my head is telling me Encanto, right? It's telling me Encanto. But also, my ass is telling me don't, 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 don't go with the majority vote. You know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Put me down for Mitchell's versus the machines. I got a oh, feeling, baby. Yeah. I got a feeling, baby. You Put know what? Down. I, I hope you're right, actually. Yeah. I hope you're right. Put I, me down, I, I, baby. So too. What the hell? Yeah. Next one up here we got is cinematography. So we got Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of The Tragedy of Macbeth, and West Side Story. Um, and I know this one has been kind of going back and forth between Dune and The Power of the Dog, but I feel like Dune has been winning a lot when it comes to like cinematography. So that's what I think will also take home cinematography at the Oscars. Yep, I would have to agree with you on that. I'm going to have to disagree with you guys and say the power of the dog is going to win. Whoa. Plot twist. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't blame you because I was dead ass going so hard between that and Dune, I mean, yeah. so I don't blame you for that. These are all wonderfully shot movies, by the way. Yes, I agree. I'm going with Dune. Yeah. Yeah. Another Jay Joe Jameson, baby. JJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not Al anymore. It's Dune. <laughs> okay, cool. Dune. It's perfect. Uh, see, I don't know. Like, even now, like, I'm struggling on what I want to pick. Like, it's between the two. Um... I don't know. The Academy sucks and probably won't give it to Dune, so I'm going with Power of the Dog. Interesting. Film fan. Which crowd do I join in this? Uh, because it's going to definitely be between these two movies. There's no the white boy that. crowd? Um, There's a lot of us, though. <laughs> you know what? 
You know what? I'm gonna go. I, I, honestly, I'm going to have to go with Diego and Andrew. I think they're going to give it to the power of the dog. All right, this will be interesting. <laughs> this will be interesting. The, the, the I want to yeah, yeah, win. Too. Yeah, I, I want to yeah, win. As well. to win too. Trust me. I want Zoom to win too. Next one up we got is costume design. So we got Cruella, Cyrano, Dune, Zoom. Nightmare. Nice. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. no, go ahead. No, I'm go sorry. ahead. I didn't mean to correct you. <laughs> no, 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 please, actually, because I always feel bad when I mispronounce something. How do you pronounce it again? Cyrano. Cyrano. Thank you, Jack. There you go. Something came Dude, in the mail today. Nightmare Alley and West Side Story. Um, this one I don't feel is too hard to predict, at least uh, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like Cruella is going to take home this one. Yeah. I think a safe bet the movie about costume design is probably going to take it. So Cruella. My prediction is not Cruella. Um, it's actually Dune. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you go Dune for this one. I see. I'm going to join Diego on that boat. Dune. Hey. DJ Khaled. <laughs> oh. Alright. Alright, all right, Henzo. Team Corella or Team Doom? All right. Team Kaylee. I mean Cruella. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> some of it. <laughs> Touch up. Andrew. I just don't see anything else winning this other than Cruella. So Cruella. Now Titch you know, it's the funniest fucking thing, honestly. I, this is like so far the one category so far where I could see any of these uh, winning because I think a lot of these have uh, kind of a good possibility because it's knowing the Oscars and stuff like that. But however, um, oh, shit, I'm going to have to go Doom. I think they really, I think Doom is probably gonna get this probably, like. I don't know. I don't know. They, they, the, the Oscars do love them like that, like kind of like, not necessarily like that, like post-apocalyptic kind of like costume look, but like I don't know. They kind of they kind of have a niche for that. <clears throat> they do. I agree. So, <laughs> next one up we got is directing. So we got Kenneth Branagh for Belfast, uh, Ryusuke. Hamaguchi, I hope that's who pronounced that, for Drive My Car. Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza. Uh, Jane Campion for The Power of the Dog. And West Side Story, uh, Steven Spielberg for West Side Story. Um, I know there's been a lot of talks regarding Jane Campion, and I think that's going to be the award that uh, she takes home. I thought you were about to do a curveball, do like, but actually. Yeah, so did I. But <laughs> I, I will also agree with you on uh, Jane Camp Ion, who's going to shoot Sam Elliott on the Warner Brothers lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, this is one I'm actually very confident in, and that is Jane Campion for the Power of the Dog. You know, I'm going to disagree, because as much it'll be nice for all these other directors to win, uh, the Academy loves Spielberg dick, so I'm going to go with Steven Spielberg. Okay. There have been plenty of like other filmmakers like praising it, so I, I can see that for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. too. Henry. I think Jane Campion will be the champion. Hey. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I thought Tony was going to make that joke. <laughs> me, too, me too. I was, I was expecting that. Yeah, Tony, I'm pretty good yeah, on it. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I did not even think about that. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's right there. Um, I'm also going with Jane Campion, who will be the champion. So, so film <laughs> fan, you're gonna go with. So film fan, you're gonna um, go with Paul Thomas Anderson, right? Funny enough, I was thinking that, but however, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what? Um. You know, I might have to go with Jordan, honestly. I may have to join with you on this, Jordan, because, you know, we, we do love them to Spielberg, you know. Are you sure you don't want to go with Kenneth Branagh for Belfast? I, honestly, there was a good possibility. Oh, no, we're right? named after a dead Game of Thrones character. <laughs> now, next one up here we got is documentary feature. So for this one, we got Ascension, 
Ateca, Flea, Summer of Soul, and Riding with Fire. Um, so this one I know could go between maybe Flea or Summer of Soul, but I have a feeling the Academy is going to go more towards Summer of Soul. However, if Flea did take home this award, I wouldn't be surprised. I will also go with Summer of Soul or When the Revolution Cannot Be Televised. Oh, thank you for reading the whole title. It's definitely going to be between Summer of Soul or Flea, um, but I'm actually going to go with Flea on this one. I think that's the one that's going to win. Here we go. <coughs> this is getting serious. I'm going to have to join uh, Jackson and Tony on this one, uh, Summer of Soul. Yeah, the return of T.J. Joe. T.J. Joe. <laughs> Joe. It'd be nice to see an animated movie and be nominated for more than just the animated part. Yeah. But knowing the Academy, uh, they hate animators like me. Sure do. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right. I will be joining Summer of Soul or when the revolution could not be televised. Now it's to Jeff Hesh. Um, you fuck that up. You fuck that up. I mean, I, I, could, I, I, could, I could really see Flea winning and part of me wants to take the chance on flea because <clears throat> you know i want to get that point the chance on you know flea. when nobody else gets it um but i don't know i'm not too confident in flea so i gotta go with some result you know what you say you won't take the chance on flea but i will take the chance on flea motherfucker so i'm going with diego baby diego we, we, oh, need, yeah. to buy, we yeah. need to ride this boat together <laughs> It looks like an E, actually. <laughs> now, this one we got is now documentary short subject. So we got Audible, Lead Me Home, The Queen of Basketball, Three Songs for Ben Azir, and When We Were Bullies. Now, of course, I talked to y'all before we shot this about how there was like a couple of categories where I had an original like, you know, choice in mind. And I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm like, but now the Academy might give it to this one. And this was me with this when I was doing the ballot. I, I originally was thinking maybe Audible, but then I've been hearing a lot about the Queen of Basketball and also Lead Me Home in all fairness. But um, hopefully it's a risk uh, I don't regret later on. But I'm going to go ahead and say the Queen of Basketball will take home this one. Mm. <clears throat> This video is brought to you by Audible, but I'm going to go with the Queen of Basketball. <laughs> oh, you, you, got, sorry. you got me there. You're so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought Tony totally was about to say, you cocksucker. <laughs> the Queen of Basketball, um, only because that's the one out of all of these that I've heard some buzz about. I haven't really heard <laughs> much buzz of any of the other ones. You know what? Uh, I'm going to throw a curveball. I... I've just now heard of Audible. I've not heard about the other shorts, but I'm gonna go with When We Were Bullies because I have seen it. When we it were bullies. Okay. Oh yeah. I like it. It's it's definitely Oscar bait, but you know. Once again, being the popular crowd with the Queen of Basketball. Yes, Queen. I'm also no. going with the Queen of Basketball. Yeah, for once, for once, I'm actually going to be with the popular crowd. I'm also going to go with the uh, queen of basketball. Mm, my man. Chad, move. Oh, yeah. Next one up here, we got this film editing now. So we got Don't Look Up, Dune, King Richard, The Power of the Dog, and Tick, Tick, Boom. Okay, so this one, uh, this is one I had to really think about. Because on the one hand, I was thinking, hmm, maybe they could give it a tick, tick, boom. But then I'm like, nah, I don't know if they would go with that. Although if they did, that would be awesome. But then I'm thinking maybe there's a chance they could even give it to something like Don't Look Up. Just knowing the Academy's mindset. But I, I mean, think... Bohemian Rhapsody did win one year. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah. I but I think I'll go with my gut and say that dude will take home editing. 
yeah, I was in a similar boat. I was kind of flipping many coins because there are so many ones projected. Yeah, um, for real. I did some. I did some looking up. I was, I was looking just at like previous like sis, uh, editing society awards, and mostly they were differing from like what ends up winning the Oscar. And then I got those Bohemian Rhapsody flashbacks, and it made me think. You know, sometimes, sometimes I think it's not just good editing. It's just whatever's the most obvious editing, and they're like, give it to that. That has editing. So I'm going to go with Don't Look Up, the worst edited film of last year to win this <laughs> fucking award. Uh, Jack's saying you're not supposed to look up. What the hell? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'll, no. I'm so, actually I'm calling the police. I'm actually going to go with The Power of the Dog. I think that's going to win. That's not it. Ooh, oh, my God. We're going to be so everywhere far. on this show. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Jordan, where are you going to be with this? Tick, <clears throat> tick. Boom. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this. Oh my god! Literally okay. everywhere. <laughs> okay, who's gonna vote for uh, King Richard to win this? Not me. I'm Richard. doing Dune. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Next. someone is on my side. So there you go. <laughs> Remember when I was the only back. one to win this last year? Yeah, that's you true. Were, actually, were, for uh, Sound of Metal, that's awesome. You know, like as much as like, I'm like, man, there's no way they don't g they give it to Don't Look Up. There's no way they give it to that. I was also saying that same shit about Bohemian Rhapsody, and they gave it to that. I'm gonna, I gotta go with Don't Look Up because I just think they're gonna be like, oh, well, you know, we're stupid. Let's give it to Don't Look Up. <laughs> look Dang, at these fucking weird edits they're making. This is oh my god. This is our yeah. point. Okay, so there's a lot of possibilities here. Do I be the one motherfucker that votes for King Richard so we can all be on the board with different movies? Or do or do I go or who because Jackson brings up a great point. Do I go with that? Or what do what I, do you think the Academy's gonna go for? What do you think? Shit. You know what? Put me on the board for Don't Look Up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. King Richard actually won. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this would be the one where King yeah. Richard wins it. <laughs> like no one gets it. so stupid. Now, next one up we got is international feature film. So we got Drive My Car, Flea, The Hand of God, Lunana, A Yak in the Classroom. And the worst per person in the world because that's what film fan is. Yeah. So. Oh. Hey, what the fuck? He's <laughs> <Jeez>, not. <laughs> Got him. But nah, in all seriousness, with this one, I was thinking, yeah, part of me is thinking maybe the worst person in the world, perhaps. But then I know there's also a lot of love for Drive My Car at the same time. So. Between the two, I just decided to go with Drive My Car to win this. Yeah, um, believe it or not, I'm going to go with the one that's nominated for Best Picture, uh, Drive My Car, and not be a total fucking idiot and predict something else. I think the hand of God will get this. <laughs> yeah, um, easily Drive My Car. I mean, if it doesn't win, then it wouldn't make sense why I'd be nominated for Best Picture. Tony, I want you to pimp my ride and drive my car. Uh, that was good. That was good. That was good. I love that. I am also <clears throat> going to go with the one that's nominated for Best Picture, which I did say I really enjoyed this movie. An incredibly patient, emotional, and thoughtful that will like No, no, no. Stop. This is my 13th reason why. <laughs> I know Tony appreciates that, Henry, but... I drive my car. I can't pull any uh, stupid shit here. Yeah, I'm going with drive my car. <laughs> Go with no, I don't want to drive your car. With what license? <laughs> oh, no. I wouldn't drive like with license. Bob, I would I'll just steal it. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, my next Olivia Rodrigo. We... Next one up we got here is makeup and hairstyling. So we got coming to America. I put an emphasis on that too. Cruella, exactly. Dune, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, and House of Gucci. Gucci. Now, believe it or not, 
I'm going to be very bold with this one and say that coming to America, nah, it's going to be the eyes of Tammy Faye. <laughs> Yo, so you got me. I thought you were going to commit federal. Assault. I thought you were actually serious. <laughs> you, um, you really thought for a second I was going to go there, Jackson? Yeah, I really did. I was about to um, be like, ha, 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 that's a point Tony's not getting. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Tammy Faye because, you know, that's probably the most talked about. Chastain's up for an award with the help of makeup. And also, fuck Jared Leto. Got him. Get wrecked. 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually going to go with Dune on this one. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. I, yeah, I thought I, you were I, like, I, I thought you were waiting for like him to say psych. <laughs> like, is he, is he serious? Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I was literally waiting for. Not even lying. <laughs> Not that. This is a joke. <laughs> No, this is an envelope. Well, I'm going to join on the religious <laughs> solo train and say Tammy Faye. Good. Thank Good God you said. Again. Thank God, Tony, you didn't go with coming to America because I would have committed federal assault. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. Wow. <laughs> All right. The Oscar De La Rosa will go to Jessica Chastain's eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I get it. I see what you. I see what you've done there. That's great. Um, you know, being like, "Ha ha, fuck you guys." Give it the house to Gucci, you know, because Suicide Squad won that one time. Um, yeah, classic. <laughs> just give give any movie with Jared Leto the award. Yo, anyway, going with the eyes of Tammy Faye. You know, it's the funniest thing what Andrew was talking about House of Gucci. <laughs> Um, I, I that, gonna that, have to go with that. That, that, that legit. That's what I'm kind of thinking <laughs> in my mind, and like I, I want to go with it because like the, it, 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 I'm, gonna, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting I'm for that mark. I'm, yes, I'm, or I'm no? going with House of Gucci. I have to. I oh have to. Oh my god. Because oh gosh. Okay. Cause they, okay. Cause, Jared Leto making for some reason they love Jared Leto making a goddamn fool out of himself in makeup. So like you know, yo, honestly, yeah. I'm cool. You triples. <laughs> the most memeable movie of the year, according to the Blu-ray cover. Wait, what? Yeah, there's like a the UK Blu-ray cover. The quote on the back says, "This is the most memeable movie of the year." <laughs> Is that not a Mad Magazine cover, or is that real? No, like, Brian legit sends that to me. We got original score, Don't Look Up, Dune, Encanto, Parallel Mothers, and The Power of the Dog. I do think Hans Zimmer is going to win his third Academy Award for this, so that is my prediction. I will also be going with Hans Zimmer's Dunes. <clears throat> That's a lot Same here. Essence. Same here. I think that's going to win as well. And we won't be able to get to hear his speech, sadly. Well, well if you watch the red carpet, though. <laughs> Pawn Zimmer for the win. It's going to be Han Zimmer. Sexy man. Um. Yeah, Han <clears throat> Zimmer. Choose your words wisely. Oh, yeah, uh, Hans Zimmer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you just quick. snapped you out of a trance. Like, oh, the Hans Zimmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was lost in another space. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, moving on with the music categories, we got original song. So we got Be Alive, Dos Arugiatas. Down to Joy, No Time to Die, and Somehow You Do. Uh, so for this one, I know it could go between Encanto or No Time to Die, but I think they will give it to No Time to Die. Yeah, I think the <clears throat> Bond the Bond song is a uh, solid prediction, so I'm going to go with that. I also believe that's the one that's going to win. Mr. Bond. (laughs) 
We don't talk about Van Morrison. Are you, gonna actually be... going, are you actually going so, to enjoy? No, 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 I'm doing No Time to Die. Oh, <laughs> shit. What the fuck? Now you'll never see me cry. Just No Time to Die. Hmm, what's the lyrics? Yeah. By yeah, Billy's I'm Eyelash. Yeah, if, if Sam Smith William is for his fucking Bond theme, I think I think anything is there. possible. I think if they'll pretty much just give it to any Bond theme. So yeah, uh, no time to die. Well, this one's actually good, so we'll be deserving, you know. So sure, sure. <laughs> but they didn't give it to Paul McCartney. I know. Oh, sad. Who? reunited twice. <clears throat> Next one up here we got is production design. We got Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of Macbeth, and West Side Story. And um, for me, I think it's going to go to Dune. I'm going to agree with you and go with Dune. Same here. <clears throat> I want to Dune, baby. All right. I won't do that pussy now. Um, wait a second. What? Wait, wait a second. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, triples. <laughs> Don't do Go this. Go to bed. It's gonna and be. You're canceled. I swear to God, this is gonna be the only Oscars prediction stream anyone's ever gonna hear someone say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the 1984 film Dune. Nice, David Lynch. Don't sting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Patrick Stewart. laughs> I am David Lynch, and what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I'm I'm gonna go with the movie that had a giant lava dump uh dumped on it by Encanto Dune. Oh. Oh. So oh. it's film if I'm gonna go with West Side Story. Yes, he is. It is a good possibility, but it's going to be doomed. It's going to be doomed. Wow, we are united three times. Three no times love to 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 nightmare alley. He's showing no love to your boy Guillermo del Toro. Look, look, look. I don't think you've even seen that yet. I still second. haven't seen it, but I need to, though. Ooh. You're a fake film fan, 0599. I know, I know, I know. All righty. Next one up we got is animated short film. So we got. Affairs of the Art, Ew. Best, Bestia. Yes, me, me and Jordan, we watched that together. That was something. Oh, okay. Best, oh. Bestia, so Box Ballot, Robin Robin, and the Windshield Wiper. Another one I actually watched with Jordan. Robin mm-hmm. Robin as well, actually. So three out of five of these I actually watched with Jordan. Huh? But I think, because uh, there's been a lot of talk for it, I think it's going to go to Robin Robin. I am of the same opinion, despite not watching it yet. <laughs> same here. Red Robin, yum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to support my homeboy Hugh Grant and go for Robin Robin. Oh, is he in that? Oh, yeah. He's the funnest oh. part of it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, his character is so much too. fun in it. I'm going to be Robin Robin, you. Please don't, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm also going with Robin Robin. Yum. Yeah, I'm going to go with Robin. So Robin. film fan will probably go with the best one, Affairs of the Art, am I right? I kind of want to go with that to piss you off, but I'm going to go with Robin Robin. <laughs> good, good boy. Next one up here we got is live action short film. So we got Ala Kachu, Bless Take you. and Run. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the dress, the long goodbye, on my mind, and please hold. So for this one, I've been hearing, I've heard some things about the dress, but I've heard the most about the long goodbye. So I'm gonna go with the long goodbye. But if the dress won uh, this, I wouldn't be shocked though. Yep, I'm gonna uh, give it to the long goodbye with uh, Riz Ahmed, my favorite Star Wars character. Whatever his name was, <clears throat> none, none of you know. Same here. Wow, that's explosive. That's right, because he blew up and died. <laughs> Love you. Spoilers for an old movie. Yep, same. The long goodbye.
I'm going to give this a long goodbye. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's going to be Riz Ahmed for the long goodbye. I'm also going with the long goodbye. The long goodbye, baby. This is five times in a row. This is a fucking shock. <laughs> Here comes yeah. the shock. Shut the fuck up before I... <laughs> Shit. Next one up we got is sound. So we got Belfast, Dune, No Time to Die, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story, and I think it's going to go to Dune. Yeah, I'm also going to go with Dune. I would logically go with that one, but knowing how dumb the Academy is, I, I could see them being like, yep, Belfast is going to win, so I'm going to go with Belfast. <laughs> oh, interesting. I was not expecting this. I wasn't oh, either, but hey, oh, I respect that. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, okay, guys. Say, why does the T and the D very quick look like a P with the cross? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we know what that is. <laughs> she is. That's true. I'm going to go with Dune. Jojo strikes again. It sounds like the Netflix thing. Bomb. All right. It's going to be. The it home better of be Chappelle. Dune or get fucked. Damn. Yeah, Diego. <laughs> nah, honestly. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know what? Like, I could also see them going with Belfast. But, I don't know. They can't be that stupid to not go with Oh, they could. <laughs> no, th th that is true. They could. I know, I know. They, I they, they could, could go yeah. with West Side Story. A lot of great sounds in West Side Story. Like, I mean, I'm, maybe sure it's the host. I'm going. I'm gonna go with the uh, Dune. Dunk. <clears throat> okay. See, I'm torn between two movies. I'm torn between Dune and No Time to Die because No mm. Time to Die does have some pretty great sound. It does have some pretty good uh, sound to it. Um, <laughs> okay. But, hmm. However, I for one in this guy. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go do no. Yeah, that's right. Sergio Fiel. Diego's gonna be looking like a big fucking idiot when uh <laughs> when, <laughs> when Belfast doesn't get it. <laughs> well, Actually, well, what if what if No myself. Time to Die wins triples? Well, you guys. Well, now I'll look like a big fucking idiot yeah. too because I almost won with that. <laughs> and the winner is No yeah, Time pulling... to Die, and Triple's just at home like yeah, fuck. You know what? I'm pulling for shit. <laughs> Next one up here we got is oh, visual shit. effects. So we got Dune, Free Guy, No Time to Die, Shang Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and Spider Man: No Way Home. Dune, baby. Um, as the world's number one biggest Free Guy hater, I cannot give it to that. What the fuck? Give it to Dune, baby. <laughs> yeah, Dune. Dune. I'm giving it to expensive guy, Timothy Chalamet. Nice. Okay. Me too. I'm going with <laughs> I, I just love how it's not even Dune. It's just me too. Yeah. Don't continue, though, baby. And we're back at it again, baby. We're all Nightmare great. Alley. That was a good one. Okay. Next one up. Oh, boy. Uh, th this one, I'm actually kind of curious what y'all are going to predict for this. But we got Adapted Screenplay. So we got Coda, Drive My Car, Dune, The Lost Daughter, and The Power of the Dog. Um, shoot. Yeah, this one, I was thinking, like, because, you know, Power of the Dog has a lot of momentum going for it for this category. Uh but then, obviously, after this past weekend, uh, Coda took home some major awards, and I really had to think back and forth what's going to take home this one. So it might be a risk, but I'm going to say Coda will win this one. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, usually, at least what I've been doing the past couple ones, I'll look at like the Writers Guild, like what, 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 which one had won those awards. Like, okay, this probably has a big chance. But since the Power of the Dog was not with that award, but it's here, and also Power of the Dog <laughs> does have a lot of like, like you know, Jane Campion might win Best Director, might get Best Picture. So I think I'm gonna stick with Power of the Dog on this one. Because it's very yeah, rare. Yeah, which, which I can understand. To be it's honest. it's rare and it's happened before, but usually if you get Best Picture, you also get one of the screenplay ones. That's Sometimes true. it does differ, but I'm I, I'm I'm gonna stick with this. Stick with this. Yeah, um, I'm confident that the Power of a Dog is gonna win this one. My man, <laughs> JD. JD's nuts. Wow, JD Vance, the Let's writer of Hillbilly Elegy. <laughs> let's see i was thinking about dune but knowing that's not gonna happen i'm just gonna power with my home dog jinjo jojo's bizarre Jonah adventure Jameson. what are you going right i think i will also go with kona this is a good prediction, though, since it did get all those, though. Yeah, I, 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 I know. Yeah, at I the same know. time, I know at the same time, it's kind of a big gamble, though. It's kind of going with Coda, but I, I don't know. Yeah, this one's tough. I could see it going either way. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just never honestly believed the hype behind Coda winning a bunch of shit at the Oscars. I don't know, like, I, I know it's been winning recently, but I, I just always felt that Power of the Dog and Belfast were, like, the more, like, they've always been, like, I don't know, they just always had the momentum, and I don't think Coda's recent surge in, like, momentum could fix that, so I'm going with Power of the Dog. Joa. Jo uh, uh, I'm going to agree with with da, 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 da. no one go with dude no one the lost uh, daughter uh i'll go uh, I, now if it was the king's daughter i would but um but um but no i'm gonna agree, but, no, I'm gonna agree with uh tony and henry um i've been hearing a lot about coda so i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna go uh coda coda the coda kai Ooh. baby this one uh, this is another one where I was like really, really freaking all over the place with. I was thinking maybe the Academy could give it to Don't Look Up or Licorice Pizza. But yeah, just to read very quick, we got Belfast, Don't Look Up, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, and the worst person in the world. Um, Holy fucking shit. And then, yeah, and I was thinking maybe they could give Paul Thomas Anderson his Oscar, but I... I know Belfast is like really, really like died down, but I feel like the Academy still has some sort of an attachment in some shape or form to Belfast. So I do think despite the hype dying down, this will be the one award it will take home. I feel like at least. Uh, due to recent Writers Guild Award win, I'm going to give this one to Don't Look Up. I think also it potentially ties into my prediction of it getting best editing, you know, it also got the screen yeah. one. So and you know, uh usually the past couple wins have been like the movies that have like been like socially like really important or powerful, like a promising young woman last year, Parasite 2019, uh, get out. So yeah, I think this good, is it. Yeah, I I, I I don't blame you for predicting it anyways, because if it doesn't go to Belfast or Licorice Pizza, yeah. I and, see and, it easily yeah. look, look up anyways. And and don't look up is the one that's very obviously like I'm going to hammer this fucking message in, motherfucker. So, that one. <laughs> True message. That. I'm going to say Belfast for this one. Jordan. I was thinking originally Licorice Pizza because they love Paul W.S. Anderson, but... Thomas Anderson. Oh, I know what I said. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. I'm going to have to don't look up, you know, because, you know, it's a cool and hip movie with the Oscars. That's they right. love, they love having their message jizz on their face. That's right. Dang, they oh, certainly dang, do. That, baby. dang. So the two J's disobeyed and they did look up. Wonderful. They did. 
Yeah. Oh shit, there's a comet coming. (laughs) (laughs) Oh look, a not so subtle message. (laughs) Oh my god, a bad a bad Adam McKay drama is coming. Oh shit, another terrible smash cut. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, only in this stream. Henry. (laughs) All right. Well, it's kind of between three for me, which are Belfast, Don't Look Up, and Licorice Pizza. And I really don't want them to give it to fucking Adam McKay again. So hopefully it's it's Paul Thomas Anderson, the Parent Teacher Association. So I'm going to go with that. Good, good, good. The PT. So, so licorice yeah. pizza you're going to go with? Yes. Okay. Going against the guild this time. You racist. I'm sorry. I'm, okay, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. 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 And this stream's taken down. To quote some film Twitter loser, congrats on Belfast for winning best original screenplay. Wow. Ooh, film fan. Where are you going to go with this? Um, I'm going Free to have to... <clears throat> Shut the fuck up. I'm, um, I'm going to have to agree with Henry. I think um, I think if there's one award that Licorice Pizza is going to take home this year, I, I feel like it's going to be Best Original Screenplay. I'll take you home. That's the one year. I want to win, honestly. Good predictions all around. Hell yeah. Oh, boy. oh shit, right. we're at the last one. All right, everybody, here it's that time of the year where we're here to predict best picture. Now, what's funny about best picture nominees. last year? Now, with yeah, with all ten nominees, like sheesh, finally Academy took you so long. Yeah, no. Took them like took them like Stupid what a eight or nine shit. Took, took them what a took decade, like eleven years to do this. No one understood. Yeah. Whereas with uh, last year, we all got Nomad Land. All right, I'm curious. If we're gonna be like really, really split with this or not, but for best picture, we got Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, is nah. right, Jesus. Yeah, shoot. Now, obviously, if we were to talk about this, maybe like last month. Um, Maybe, no, maybe two months ago, maybe like Belfast. Last month, I was seriously thinking maybe Power of the Dog. And I do still think, actually, that Power of the Dog has a lot of momentum to take on this award. But it's similar to what I just said about adapted screenplay. I think I will go ahead and predict that Coda will win Best Picture. But if Power of the Dog does take a home this award, I will not be shocked at all. But I'll just... Take a gamble here with like just like adaptive screenplay and say Coda. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I was flip flop when Coda started to seemingly gain momentum. Um, I did uh, hear some bit of advice of like you know it's very rare that a movie like Coda that got very little noms would win. Um, not yeah. to say that was my deciding factor, but just that's one reason that I don't think anyone's brought up yet so i'm just gonna i'm gonna stick with my guns and say power of the dog is gonna take this one i think uh jane campion is gonna be the ultimate champion and shoot sam elliott from the stage <laughs> so so you so you think the dog has a lot of power that's right no. however if free guy was on here i would pick that for fuck's sake would you <laughs> <shut up? laughs> that is true art so i actually think Belfast is gonna win Best Picture. Oh, oh shit! Are we all gonna go with oh different boy, movies? Oh my gosh! Well, I would go with my mentors at Netflix and pick their movie, but oh. I'm gonna backstab them and say Doom. Ooh. Oh, you think Doom? Oh, this is getting. Oh, this is getting. Oh, HBO Max. Oh, okay. Thanks for the free merchandise, Netflix. This is getting interesting. Okay. 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 Shit. Okay. I'm, I'm actually liking this. <laughs> Watch my mentor punish me with homework. Yeah. <laughs> Just comes in and kicks your ass. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm in. All right. For the first time ever, there will be a time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. No, I think it's going to be. 
I was going to pick Power of the Dog, but considering I only picked that for one other award and I picked Coda for two other awards, I think I'm going to go with Coda. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. That only one person here realizes it ain't going to be Coda. Yeah, I agree. It ain't going to be West. It ain't gonna be West Side Story. I don't know where the fuck that narrative came from. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be Power of the Dog. It was always going to be Belfast. Oh, Listen, let, let me tell you something. God damn it! Again, I get it. Right? <laughs> right? so remember, remember when everybody said Roma was gonna win and it didn't win? I guess. Repeat. It's gonna happen again with Belfast. What a yeah. bell! You're fast. Nice. Now, um, now, now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, social of all ages, there are there are a lot of choices here. I've had quite the um, I've had quite the time of predicting uh, best picture. Um, uh, there's one year in particular though. Um, now, could I go with my boy Guillermo del Toro again and go with an absolute gamble? <clears throat> could I do that? However, here's the thing though: yeah. with the Shape of Water, it was winning a shit ton of awards, and there was a good possibility that that was going to win. Nightmare Alley doesn't have any of that. I, I, I hate to break my boy's heart, but it doesn't have Why any not? of that. Yeah. So I can't go with that. Um, fuck. There's a lot here. Oh, shit. Search your Damn. feelings. I am. You know it's the power there's of a dog. Lot. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot here that could possibly... There's Honestly, there's like five movies here that could quite possibly win this. You know in your heart it's free, guy. Uh, Come to the dark they, side. We have egos. go go with West Side Story. Uh, it's Elgort. Oh, oh shit! Yikes! Um, yikes! Anyway, Cinderella. Pick, motherfucker. But I think I'm going to have to agree with. Jackson and go with the power of the dog. I think nice. I have a feeling that that's probably going to be the one that wins. Dang! So we yeah, got so, so we culture. got two predicting power of the dog, one for Dune, two for Coda, and two for Belfast. I this like is it really be, do be like 2019. Watch it be drive my car somehow. I kind of was thinking, oh, no, no lie, no lie. I was kind of thinking, it may, what if it is drive my car? Yeah, you know what? It'll be well, don't up. I McKay's swear to God, it, watch it be West Side Story because, you know. Nah, it won't I don't be think West Side so. Story, by the way. I, so. I, I heard one person in particular say it's West Side Story, and he will go nameless. Uh, okay. I don't want to say his name. I'm fucking hungry. Oh, you see John Cena? All right, everybody. Oh, we did well, it, bitches. We did it. Those are all of our we predictions. Did it, this is getting quite, this is getting quite the uh, the prediction. This is going to be quite the um, the Results endeavor, video. I must say. <laughs> I'm very excited. Me too. Yeah, same here. Um, but yeah, that, that those are all of our predictions for the Academy Awards. Those are what we feel, obviously, believe they will pick. You know, that's the whole point of this. After all, I think that's what makes it very interesting. Yeah, yeah. But of course, before, um, you know, I do say my goodbyes, I'm going to allow each of my guests to say their goodbyes one by one. And, you know, they could plug their stuff if they want to. Starting off with Mr. Fulcher. Whoa, man. It's me. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, this was great. Love doing it. Can't wait to do it next year. And also this Sunday when we do the results or whenever day we do it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that as I was doing the conclusion, but thanks to Jackson for bringing it up as I'm editing this. Yes, we are going to, of course, do our usual where we come back to do the prediction results video, so stay tuned for that, of course, sometime after the Oscar ceremony. Doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck? Anyways, um, if you uh, liked me here for whatever reason, find me on YouTube. It's just my name, Jackson Fulcher, or you can follow me on Letterboxd where I do cringy joke reviews all the time. Uh, it's They're also just cringy. my name. They are amazing in their masterpieces. Shut the okay, fuck up. so just one of those two places. <laughs> or don't. It's totally fine. Hey, I was giving praise to Jackson. The fuck you mean shut the fuck up, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Go to him. Go to this guy. Go to him. Well, uh, thanks, Tony, for, for having me on here. Um, I had a great time. I had fun uh, with this video, and um, I'm looking forward to next year's um, Oscars predictions video. 
All right, I had fun with my first Oscars predictions video. Um, be sure to follow me on my socials. Uh, check out my short film, Dark Ray Blue, on YouTube. You can't fucking see the screen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to post a poster around somewhere. And yeah, follow me on my socials. He'll probably drop links. Uh, I can't wait to check out the, the results and see how wrong I got. All right, congratulations to Film Fan for winning. Yeah. And, and listen, if it worked for me last it's year, it's gonna happen for him this year. It's gonna happen. I don't think you understand. I hope it happens. Honestly, I All hope right. it happens. All right, I'm happy to be back. Thanks to y'all for having me. And yeah, you can find me on my YouTube channel, which is just my name, Henry Ewing. Wait, there, fuck, right there, and. Find me on Letterboxd as well. You can find me on Twitter at Henzo Ewing. You can find me on Instagram at Henzo Ewing. Even though I don't post there. Yeah, excited for Best Picture not to be last again. <laughs> Listen, I don't, don't bother following my socials because I don't fucking post there. But you can follow me on Letterboxd because I am pretty frequent on that. Uh, at Big Kim Hayes. Um, I do funny stuff sometimes, like watch Garfield and Garfield Taylor for Giddy. Nice. Um, yes, I saw Garfield Taylor for Giddy's and Peters. Um, okay, you anyway. can follow me to my house if you want. Uh, don't do know that. Me. Um, anyways, um. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for this upgrade. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Is it worth $25? <laughs> Honestly, for this case, probably. Anyways, um, thank you all for, uh, you, you know, thank you all for the fuck who's beating their meat. Anyways, um, <laughs> thank you all for beating their meat. You all, yeah, you can find me, you know, on like YouTube, Twitter. You know, uh, Instagram, and uh, yeah, you can find me on all those things at FilmFan0599 or me and Henry's asshole after we're done with this. So, um, anyways, y'all have a good night. Nice. Can I join? Y'all have a good night and um, stay safe out there. All right, but all right there, of course. Thank you all for watching. Check out my guests' channels. I will leave a link to each of them in the description down below. Of course, thank you to everyone for participating in this year's annual Academy Awards. This is 22 Tiger Dude here with Jackson, Diego, um, Henry, Jordan, Andrew, and Film Fan. And don't forget that all seven of us will always have... have Tiger Power, I don't think we could have done that any better. That's yeah. it. That was good. Well, I can't. Well, Six I can't two. really scream it. I have a sore throat at the moment, so I have no idea. Twenty-two. It's two thousand twenty-two, baby. Twenty-two. Yeah.